If you've been following me for a while, you would know that I really love ambient music and Satan. Ambient music is basically just fucking reverb, which is basically just sound reflecting off of other surfaces and shit creating like vibrations and shit. In most cases, ambient music doesn't have melodies, just different tones playing at once, sometimes deliberately playing specific tones to allow you to experience what it's like to take a dose of cocaine. It's no wonder why spiritual groups like the fucking shaman play that trippy ass meditation music. But you know, that's a topic for another video. I don't want to get into the whole experiencing different levels of consciousness. Alright, so check this shit out. Basically, there's this dude called Ghost Main. He dropped this one song called Mercury. I listened to it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I listened to more of his shit and I thoroughly enjoyed it as well. And I figured, hey, fuck it, why, not? why don't I just make a video about it? Because I'm two weeks late, two and a half weeks. I've noticed that his music is very fucking like ambient drone sounds. You know, not every song is like very ambient, but you know, that's like what I'm gonna be taking inspiration from to you know fucking make today's beat all right so how are we gonna start this shit off open up your registered FL studio producer edition all right so like I said we're gonna be making some ambient shit I'm just gonna open up Omnisphere if you look up distorted reality it's like a library or some shit and has some really good sounds so you know I'm just gonna play a whole fucking a lot of them whatever we'll see what happens Alright, I think this is enough, like, shit for now. Uh, I'm gonna make the drums next. Really, the only thing you should keep in mind is to make, you know, get some big fat ass fucking bass. Before we go on to the mixing shit, I just want to make a little bit more melodies, you know, give it a little bit more rhythm to it and shit. Alright, so here's your unmixed, unleveled, shitty ass beat. Right now it sounds like shit, but it doesn't have to. It's gonna take a little bit of effort. Alright, first let's do a little bit of EQing and shit. I know a lot of producers talk about this shit called resonant frequency. I don't know what the fuck that is, but let me just tell you how I fucking know it. You see like a snare like this? What I do is turn down that shit and turn up this shit. Or, I mean, you can turn it up however you want, but this is how I would do it, alright? And you know, that's pretty much all it takes as far as equalizing and shit. At least how I do it. Now it's time to give a kind of in-depth look of a fucking thing that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I'm not sure if FL Studio has it upgraded to Reverb 3 or anything, but you, you're just gonna have to settle with this. If you're using Cubase or Ableton or something like that, if, well, I, don't, I don't know, you, you can fucking figure it out. Alright, so every single little fucking knob that you see right here has a purpose, and it's fucking important. But I'm only gonna be focusing on the most fucking important ones. Alright, this knob says H cut, and if you come up here, you can see that it says high cut. And if you turn it all the way down, you can tell that the reverb isn't affecting the high frequencies. I know that I just sound like a huge fucking nerd right now, but if you know what a frequency is, and what a higher frequency is, then you're gonna know what the fuck it sounds like. Just listen to this. That's all it is, and the one on the bottom is the fucking low cut knob. If you turn it down, you're gonna get all your bass is gonna be affected, and if you turn it up, then it won't be. This knob says DEL, which means delay. It's pretty much how long until the reverb actually comes in. You know what I really like about FL Studio and the fruity plugins? 
is that the visuals are always just so fucking nice and smooth. Unlike if you go to a program like Ableton and it gives you this fucking old man shit. Alright, these are the three knobs that you really don't gotta worry about. These two are kinda like these two i know that they're different obviously i'm not a fucking idiot so yeah you know what the size does you know you can just fuck around with these knobs on your own but i'm just gonna keep showing you what they do the decay is how long the reverb lasts afterwards you want a slower attack then you gotta turn this shit down you want your reverb to be very prominent then turn up the wet and if you don't want it to be that you know stand out that much and just turn that shit down and this knob in the middle fuck it i've tried it so many times but i just can't hear a difference and this thing right here is the stereo separation knob all right there it is now i'm gonna put reverb on these son of a bitches and you're gonna be able to hear it and you're gonna be like oh shit yeah, he's doing reverb shit or something. Alright, that should be good enough. Here's the final result. 